materials and a whiteboard so so I do so I can do it in my mind then do it on the white so then I can fix my mistakes on the whiteboard and then put it on the paper um my teacher um she does a lot of things that benefit because she pulls me into a small group if I need help, like for long division. I remember I was absent for the day, got introduced, so it was really hard for me to catch up. So she pulled me into a small group and helped me. Pictures, and I use my mind before I write. I work independently and I have a quiet space, so my thoughts go on paper and then I can go and talk to someone else and then say what my thoughts were. Getting feedback by others and also also drawing pictures to show that I'm learning it good. I may need the proper tools or a teacher to come over and like probably give me hints to help me get out, but not quite giving me the answer, but giving me some sort of hint to get the answer. Using little foam blocks that allow us to count by hundreds, tens, and one. Play games, it helps me understand it more. I wish I could do more of hard problems, more a little bit hard. Why? Because because I like a little bit of challenge. More complex problems, but at the same time they're easier for some students. I feel like if there are questions that some students don't know, just having some of like different varieties like of the same question but some giving some more information and some giving less to certain students on different levels. Tracting multiplication and adding because as a kid I didn't really have enough time to do that and I just got pushed into division and partial sums. So you wish you had more time to kind of understand those yeah. those skills first. Word problems, because um, in my opinion, I think they're the funnest. I think my first like bit of advice would definitely be understanding where the student is at, and like if they're not quite getting a topic and seeing them stress, definitely go over and like sit down with them and explain the topic. Definitely. Um, my second bit of advice would probably be really try to make your lessons deep and like make sure they get a good, good understanding of it because um, some students have a difficult time, especially me, getting a deeper understanding of the topic. And my third bit of advice is just make the lessons fun, so especially for the littler kids so they don't get as bored because if they get bored, they're not going to engage in the lesson. Um, as much as you want them to, to get the subject. To know your students and help your students. See, like, what are the weak points of a class and what are the strong points? And they can teach more on the weak points than, than more on the strong points. Since you can, since you learn more by finding your weakness in math. To have more whole group lessons so the students can talk it out together and, and before we go into independence so it's, so it's easier. How to learn math in different ways and to um, get, um, to see what they already know. Giving the kids choices to do this or that. And um, the second one I would give, don't, don't let your kids rush because they're not going to be, like, it's not going to be all correct. The thing I would say to a teacher is um, uh, try to add, uh, mix in, like, a little bit of hard and easy stuff every day. Okay, so have a mix of levels of things that you're working on. Yeah. Okay, thank you.